What is the easiest way to connect to your higher self? Okay. Hmm. Yes, I love the question because this is the answer. This is the answer. First, you have to understand who it is that you truly are. So do you believe it? When I tell you that you are all gods, do you feel it? Is there something in you that kind of reverberates, shudders a little bit with a yes of that? Yes, I am a god. Yes, I am a pure consciousness. Yes, I do exist outside of this dimension. I am omnidimensional. Like if that reverberates within you, that's your spirit telling you that it's true. So you must trust that. You always should trust that because people will always say, well, that's bullshit. People will tell you, well, that's crazy. But if your spirit testifies to it, you can trust it. And it's the body that is always telling you what is true. So you have to know that about yourself, that you're this pure consciousness. You have to know that about yourself, that if you said to that mountain to jump into the sea, it would have to do it. That's the nature of this reality. To connect with the power of that, you've got to do things like spiritual practices and disciplines. They, of course, help. Meditation. Meditation puts you into proximity with high vibration and with source energy. Source energy is the highest, most divine energy we will ever encounter in this reality. And so if meditation puts us in the seat right next to source energy, then we should be doing that more. Because being next to source energy changes us. The higher the vibration, the higher we are, the closer we are to God. The closer we are to God, the more we become like God. You are all gods. The more we become like God, the more God's attributes and characteristics populate our life. These are miraculous characteristics, not like Crystal Ann Compton's characteristics. She's got green eyes. She's got a great nose. She's funny. She's this, she's that. Those are my personal human characteristics. God's characteristics are miraculous. And so if we find time to spend time with source energy, well, then we bask in the energy of that and it changes us because our energy is lesser. And that's the nature of energy. The stronger energy impacts the, the lesser energy and changes it. The lesser energy is forced to acclimate to the level of the higher, stronger, more do dominant energy. So if you want to be a happier person, go hang out with happy people because their energy is higher than yours and it'll change your energy. If you want the evidences of spirit and God in your life, well, go hang out with God. How can you do that? Meditation's one way. But here's another way you can do that, which I highly recommend. Find your power source. Your power source. What that is, is the thing or the things really, because we all have many of them, that fill you up with power. Power being another way of saying light. Light being another way of saying love. And love, another way of saying God. Each and every one of us in our human, mundane, 3D reality have so many different power sources. Things that make us smile. Things that make us feel joy, feel gladness, feel so grateful. Thank you. Things that make us feel playful and laughter, mirth, a merry heart does good like a medicine. Things that make us feel passionate and creative. Find out what those things are for you because all of those things, my friend, contain the energy of source, contain the energy of the higher self. All those things are high vibration. So find out how to plug into high vibration for yourself and do that more. Whatever it is for you, do that more. Fill yourself up with it in order to connect to what it is that you truly are because that's how you feel it. See, and when you feel it, the energetic signature of it, it's magnetic. You follow it. It's a homing beacon. Pretty soon, I'm addicted to hanging out in the love. I'm addicted to hanging out in the joy. I'm, addic I'm addicted to spreading the generosity and the charity because that's who I truly am. There is a magnetic pull to who it is that you truly are. So look for what brings you joy and brings you happiness and hang out there more. It's the key to everything. You want to be psychic? Do that. Do you want to be abundant? Do that. Do you want to be healthy? Do that. It is the key to absolutely everything. So I would recommend, of course, meditation, prayer, all those good things, but don't forget to plug into the power source.